Hey, let's learn some alternate bass note guitar playing. Let's use a song as an example, like Folsom Prison Blues from Johnny Cash. Oh heck, let's do the intro while we're at it. Real easy, you just go. That's your B with your middle finger. Hit it like three times. Then your index hits this D sharp with your index, back to your B. You can go two or three. It's probably two, yeah. So the reason these notes are happening, they're just in the B7 chord. So that's what, if you know your chord, you'll know what notes to hit. It really makes everything a thousand times easier. That's a small bend. A big bend's gonna sound stupid. <laughs> so you bend up. You don't want to go. You gotta get. You gotta get off of the note without making racket. And I found the edge of my pick touches it. Touch. Then it mutes it. Otherwise, I got sort of a rattle sound. So you gotta, this is like your brakes. You got disc brakes right here. Stop, stop, stop. That's gonna stop a lot of stuff. So you're just knocking the note, the note out with your pick. And the, the bass note business is gonna be like really super easy. You're just going low E to B. That's the bass note of an E chord, an E note. And your alternate bass note is this B, which is the fifth interval of an E chord. They're right in the chord. So the, you do like four of these. One, there's two, three, four. Then you go to the A chord, which is one string towards the floor. Same thing. Back to E. It's not going to get any easier, but it does get harder here. <laughs> you, on a B, you have to do this business with your middle finger going bam, 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 jumping back and forth. Or you can just lay it flat. Um, make sure to start with your fifth string first. Don't reverse them. to E. All right, I think you can follow that. That's pretty cool. Just think of the words of the song, sing along, and you'll you'll have the feel. But if, let's, now I usually play maybe in a trio with drums, bass, and guitar. So we can't have one guy just going like this and the other guy going, you know, strumming the chord. So I gotta do them both. I go like, uh, so I'm kind of doing the strum plus the picking. Oh, so I'm singing at the same time. So I'm going. Woo, a little sloppy. Something like that. I just do it whatever, you know. I don't really, I'm not that uptight about it, but I, you do have to keep it straight. So I'm going bass, down, up. Alternate bass, down, up. My E. Now that might, if you're up here, your, your shoulder's gonna get really tired. You know, that's just too much arm, shoulder, whoa, up here. If you come back a little better, you know, but really, to hot rod it, you lay this corner of your hand, the hypothenar, you know that, right? <laughs> and you lay it right on the bridge. See the bridge? That line right, that little white strip, 
you just perch on that with that corner, that little line. These fingers are out here. You are set. And you're just kind of moving here versus killing yourself. All right, man. You, I just saved you a lot of work there. I hear the train a coming, it's blowing around the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Stuck in Folsom Prison and died. Keeps dragging on. And the train keeps a moving on down to San Antonio. Alright, A is just A. Alternate bass is the fourth string. So you got bass. Alternate bass, back to E. Now the crazy stuff is the B7. You know B7, right? Index, middle, ring, pinky. Index is on first fret. That's why we did that intro. Right, middle, ring, uh, middle, index, ring, pinky. On the tips like crazy. And here's what's fun, you gotta go Middle goes over here for the alternate. Back to the bass. So balancing on these fingers takes a lot of crazy tension out of my right arm. I was getting a little carried away doing some hammer on, kind of sounds like on the road again. That's not really in Folsom Prison. If you want to know the solo, it goes. Cool, man. That's perfect uh, theory for, that's kind of my philosophy of how to, you know, we're not going like. Unless you want to, but <laughs> the. We're basing it on an E shape here. Well, an A shape, an E chord. That's your ring finger laying flat and index. So it's shaped just like an A, A, B, C, D, E. Add the index flat as possible. See how straight my index is? That's gonna make that work. Ring's gotta be like that. Kind of see that crazy angle of my ring finger, how it's really warped. Then I can get the first string to ring out. Maybe. But we're using that shape, only different fingers. Now, how's this go again? <laughs> I'm going to slide into eight to nine, second string, first string, seven. All right. So that's a slur from a minor third to a major third, and your dominant seventh. Is that familiar? Getting used to that? Finding the third? Slurring in from a minor third to a major third. The fifth, dominant seventh. It's kind of like the vocal line, really. I hear the train a coming, it's rolling around the band. Sort of like the, he's talking with the guitar. Cool, man. You can do that. It's a seven nine nine. Then, uh, gosh, what's he do? He goes to A. Back to. And. Something like that. So, I've gotten really carried away with this. I, I thought it was. Something like that, whatever I can. We used to extend the song and throw in a lot of insane solos back and forth with my friend Kyle, who played lead guitar with me for a long time. And we'd just, he'd take a solo, I'd take a solo, and we would go like, wow. Uh, trying to outdo each other, trying to be, you know, weirder and wilder. 
just keep going, kind of like a duel. Oh my God, it was hysterical. Excessive. So these days, I have trimmed it way down to just the stock. Sometimes I'll go. Whatever you want to do, you know, have fun with it. I don't care. I'm playing my J100 today. I bought this at the Music Loft in Cedar Rapids, about 94 or 95. It's pretty beat from teach from teaching lessons. That shows where I play this guitar the most, the first three frets. That's kind of cool, I like that. There's where, I, there's where I hold it down. So this is from teaching lessons for 30, I don't know, years or whatever of like, okay guys. Teaching is really fun though, I love it. So no students today due to the blizzard, so I'm a little sad. I think I'm gonna get out there and shovel some ice. Oh God, <laughs> it's gonna hurt. Well, I hope you're doing good. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your Johnny Cash style country picking. All right, see ya.